Okay. See, it's a short race. tow car. Okay, I know everybody hates the vertical video, but my camera holder, it's about the best I can do right now, so just drop that bus off there in Kuskiosko or whatever, Mississippi. Picked it up in Tulsa, 500 and 500 and something miles, 567 or something like that. So coming back through Mississippi now, headed back to Tulsa. I'm going to deadhead back to Tulsa. There's not really nothing in this area. Um, this is why you want to lease on to more than one company so that you can have a possibility of getting something closer. And I'm in the process of doing that. So, uh, at the end video, I'll just show you the breakdown of the pay. I know everybody likes to see the breakdown of how much you make on drive away, and I'm going to do that here at the end of the video. So, stay tuned. Um, that was my first load with quality. I'm going to leave a link in the, um, there's a cemetery. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link down here in Biscuit. Christian Blow how I hooked up to it. I basically did it the same way as a pro drive away man did, does uh, hook up to a bus. And it's funny because this was the first bus with quality that I took. And in his video, he's got a short bus too. <laughs> so, I don't know what. Well, my first bus they sent me to pick up was a prison bus. Unfortunately, it was a rear engine pusher and there was no place to put my hitch on the frame. So I couldn't pick that one up. So then they gave me this one and said, go check this one out. Well, that, this one is a very short bus, very short wheelbase, high center of gravity, drove like crap. Um, very light front end, any groove in the road it would catch. Um, but it had a Cummins diesel in it and it got really good fuel mileage, probably 10 or 11 miles a gallon. So I uh, did good on fuel. So anyway, I just, I think Mississippi is one of the pretty states. I think most, all of the United States has its unique characteristics that make it beautiful. Um, and I love getting off the interstates and getting, um, see, seeing the, stuff that you don't see when you're on the interstate, like that old t uh, cemetery back there, or old tombstone. So anyway, I'm cutting across, trying to pick up I-40 at Lone Oak. Uh, Google tried to bring me this way the other night instead of going through Memphis. But as a general rule, I do not take roads I don't know uh, at night. Uh, when I'm delivering. Um, I thought this would be one of those roads with a little podunk town every five miles, but so far it's been pretty good. Uh, anyway, um, driver doesn't say, hey, get on your side, driver. You got a side road? I got a side. Uh, probably doesn't say the thing I am. I'm just wondering if there's any scale houses. I come through I-40 in Memphis the other night. Luckily, all the steel houses are closed. And, I don't, and they don't bother me. I mean, 